Hi everyone and welcome to my channel where I talk about electrical work and electrical calculations. So if you work in the electrical industry here in the UK, I hope there's something here on my channel for you. Today I'm going to talk about SPDs and so I've been thinking about getting surge protection installed at my home and I thought I'd share my thoughts about this. Um, so I have a split load consumer unit at home and the installation is just under a year old so it was installed before Amendment 2 of the 18th edition was introduced and I'm guessing that the contractor probably uh, either did the calculation or maybe uh, more likely probably uh, used the exemption that we used to have um, for single dwelling units so I don't have surge protection at the moment. Now there is space in my consumer unit for SPDs and I know the manufacturer has a retrofit option but the trouble is it would take up a lot of spare ways within my consumer unit um, and I'd probably have to shift all the MCBs and RCDs along to put the SPDs near the origin they would have to go before the uh, RCDs. So I would lose probably about three spare ways for both the SPD and the circuit breaker. So I'm wondering if installing the SPD in a separate enclosure just below the consumer unit would be a better idea. So that way I could just have the one MCB inside the consumer unit and then the um, social protection device in a separate enclosure just below. And there's also another reason why I think that this might be a good idea, is that that would allow me to use an SPD that's made by a different manufacturer to the consumer unit. Now, I have no preference on the manufacturer of the SPD, but when installing SPDs, we do have to bear in mind coordination between more than one SPD. So if I wanted to ensure that there was protection for um, my electronic equipment, I would need to have a type three surge protection device where the equipment is connected and then a type two device at the consumer unit. So in order for that to be coordinated, the best thing is for them to be made by the same manufacturer. Now there are some other things to consider, but I really think it makes sense to have SPDs made by the same manufacturer. So having an SPD in a separate enclosure to the consumer unit would give me that flexibility to by a different um, manufacturer SPD. Um, at the moment, I've got one of these, uh, surge guard, um, sort of extension lead, surge protection device things. Um, it says on the back, from looking at it, it says, uh, it says T3 on the back, so this is a Type 3 surge protection device. So what I could do, um, for all my co uh, computer equipment where working from home and so on, I could plug all that into there, have that at the uh, point where the equipment is connected, and then have the Type 2 surge protection device in the consumer unit. So those are my thoughts on it at the moment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I do think that having the Type 2 surge protection at the consumer unit and the Type 3 at the point of use is probably the best way to go and to have those of the same manufacturer. And what I, what I could do is I could use this or maybe use a different manufacturer. I could get a, a Type 2 device and then see what uh, manufacturers uh, make a similar Type 3 um, socket outlet that I could maybe plug in. I'm not keen on extension leads so much, so maybe if there was a, a single socket uh, Type 3 SPD available on the market somewhere, maybe I could get that to have at the socket outlet and then have the Type 2 in the consumer unit. So those are my thoughts on that, and it's really just a peace of mind thing for me. I think I think it's not really absolutely necessary for me to have the surge protection um, because wire regulations aren't meant to be retrospective, as you know. Um, and if I had a um, EICR done on the property, it would probably come up as a, a C3, in my opinion. But it's really just a peace of mind thing. Um, so just my personal opinion uh, that I'm thinking of getting uh, surge protection. I haven't made up my mind yet of what I'm going to do. Let me know what you would do. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see my previous video where I talk about changes in Amendment 2 of the 18th edition, please see the link up at the top of the screen.